from the spectacular Mohegan Sun Hotel and Casino Resort in Uncasville, Connecticut. He's in command two to nothing. You see the defense already. Coach, you way back. Has an answer for the drop shot. What a rally, what a rally. You can see the touch of Karakasovic. He's changing direction and dropping the ball short over the net. There's a side spin, top spin serve. He starts off with the backhand top spin. And a forehand hook. One more forehand inside out. Watch the drop shot. He's got Koji on the run. Still the great defense, but that inside out forehand down the line does it. Every six points, players can go to the towel. Regroup quickly. Philemon does just that. Now this looks like a forehand to forehand matchup, and Philemon inside out takes himself out of the court in a controlled topspin of Lupulescu. Let's watch the replay here. There's a side spin serve, a little bit long. Lupulescu gets the topspin attack going. Philemon with the power topspin. Watch him slide and fall on the floor, but leaves the court open, and Lupulescu does not miss it. Very exciting first game between Waldner and Person. Let's recap game two now, Dan, with some more incredible points. Let's take a look at some of the highlights. What a cut there and a backhand smash by Waldner. It's a backhand down the line. Waldner off balance. Makes a beautiful cut on the forehand and snaps a backhand winner past Person. Person tried the drop shot, but Waldner covers a lot of court out there. That court on this point. Incredible agility just to keep the ball on the table. And Walder wins another point. That made it 3-2. Great get. Oh, a hammer smash. A tennis serve. Look at how high that was and finds the table. Unbelievable shot. From so far away to go on the offensive. Are you kidding? That hammer tennis serve smash way up in the air. Person actually makes a return from outside the court and a backhand smash. Unbelievable. Amazing athleticism from Jorgen Person there. Oh, look at the curving loops. Ball moved about five feet to the left. Now it's 6-4, this is game two. Walder won the first one in dramatic fashion. Power smash, the ball hits the net. Walder didn't like that one. Not at all. So it's to 9-4, two points away from winning game two. Jorgen pinned on the backhand, goes to the forehand. Incredible defense on that looping forehand. This time, sails long. 11-6 in game two, now to game three. Three, three at this point. Both these players equal on offense and defense. Another great point. He got it back in. The high lob somehow, Walder found the table, again. The best point we've seen. Now the offensive. Unbelievable gets, and finally Person can't return one. Extraordinary point, Dan. This is definitely the Mohegan Sun point of the match. Let's take another look at it. There's that top spin to the backhand. Person pins Waldner way back in the court. It's gonna stay on the backhand side. Another smash. One more time to the backhand. Now he's off to the floor and watch this ball corkscrew back into play. And another high one, about 40 feet in the air. And that's gonna corkscrew back on. Watch the counter smash by Waldner. Unbelievable. Let's watch this from above. Look at the, how fast the ball moves and the power and the forehand smash. Person throwing his whole body into it. And it's not enough as the ball keeps coming. Oh, look at that from up above. Almost hit our camera up there. Here comes another one from way up, coming out of nowhere. 
Looks like someone threw it in from the other side. Oh, the counter smash. What a view of one of the best table tennis points ever. That was incredible action. Look back in again. Just amazing to see them go from offense to defense just like that. That backhand side spin shot and the cut. Drop As shot. Said, he can do it all and he comes running in for a drop shot. Ladies and gentlemen, that is table tennis at its best. Such control, actually a little bit magical. Look at that side spin backhand. There's the chop from way back and then a drop shot on the run. No problem. Wow. Absolutely incredible to watch, and we know about hand-eye court. How about this guy? He might invent a new sport here, Dan. Oh. How long can he go with it? He might have practiced that a time or two, huh? Yeah, I've heard of hand-eye coordination, <laughs> but that's foot-eye coordination. That is extraordinary. What an athlete. That's right, Dave. When you play these defensive players, the, the thing that an offensive player wants to do, they usually want to go hard and faster and hit it even faster, and that's when the mistakes come in. He's back about 10, 15 feet. Doesn't matter how hard you're gonna hit, he's gonna bring it back. Wow! Yet another incredible point. Still Primrod's two games, two points shy of winning this third game. Trying to get back in the match. Once again, but oh, no, not this time. Oh, shot, Primrod's. Reaches out and punches it cross court. Can you believe that play? You can get it by me once, but not twice. Look at that. Excellent touch. Leaning over there. Forehand block to the open court. Let's watch the hand play, how he changes the racket in his hand for the angle. Bye bye. <laughs> it's not easy for a defensive player to know when to attack, but after the serve is their best chance. Zorin attacking that back, and that's the heaviest underspin in the world. Power topspin by Zorin. Hits the net. Look out. Another great point. Caught the table. Great save. Can he do it again? That's gonna hit. Counterattack. Oh! Unbelievable point between these two great champions. The Mohican Sun point of the match. Forehand topspin, power topspin to the backhand. Once again, hits the net. That slows down Zorin attack. Now he's on the defense. Now he's got the topspin lob. It's a power smash that's gonna hit right in the corner and the counter smash. Amazing table tennis there. See this? This is magic ball. Magic ball. Oh, oh. The guy without feeling makes something with the feeling. <laughs> Just too long. Just too long. Stone hand. Hand. Can you, imagine, can you imagine how long he practiced this? Huh? Everything is practiced.